So, Jonathan, I'm glad to see you've come back to your senses. Never mind all the precious time we've wasted waiting for you to come around, time that might have cost someone else their life. Mr. Owen Wright here. The murderer is holding his daughter hostage as we speak. Does it matter to you at all that she might die too? Now, I hope you're satisfied that neither I nor Owen Wright are in any way responsible for these tragic events and for the murder of your niece Elizabeth in particular. What on earth possessed you to think that we were the killers? And who exactly tried to kill us in that abandoned railway tunnel? Back there in the tunnel, the person who tried to kill you was Benjamin Ross. Why would Dr. Ross want to kill us? Because he thinks you murdered his son. And what, pray tell, made the two of you believe such a thing? Because I told him so. And I heard it from my anonymous guardian angel. Say what? What guardian angel? And why would you take anyone's word for something like that? For years now, this mysterious person has been sending me these letters. He has supported me spiritually as well as financially. I'm a gambler, you know. I always need the money. So, somebody bought your opinion? Yes and no. He said he used to be a gambler too, and that he lost everything and ended up at the very bottom. And that is when he had a moment of clarity. He quit gambling, got his wealth back, and vowed to help others do the same. Why would he just keep giving you money knowing full well you'd just gamble it away? Didn't that seem suspicious to you? He said he was helping me keep my family afloat. I ended up needing him, and he never asked for anything in return. He stayed anonymous to make sure I wouldn't feel obligated to return his favors. All he wanted was to get me out of gambling. He said it was the greatest reward he could hope for. All right, let's go back to the murder attempt. What did your guardian angel tell you about us? He'd been so worried about these killings over the past six months. When my Elizabeth died, I received an urgent letter from him saying that the two of you were the real murderers. That a detective job was the perfect cover for a serial killer. Otherwise, how could the police have been so stupid and let the killer run free for so long? And I believed him. He said someone should take justice into their own hands, and he also suggested I talk to Dr. Ross, because he too had lost a loved one to this Lonely Hearts killer. I had a meeting with Benjamin Ross, and he agreed with me. And then what? And then you know what happened. Benjamin set up a trap in the tunnel, and I lied to get you to go in there. You remember the story I told you about Elizabeth seeing something suspicious in the tunnel before she went missing? That was a lie. The killer is no longer holding back. He's attacking us head on. Sir, shall I put out a bulletin for the arrest of Dr. Ross? <sighs> Take care of that, Jaden, will you? Yes, sir. Owen, we have a lead to the killer again, however tenuous. We need to find out the identity of this anonymous guardian angel. We need to get our hands on Dr. Ross before he does something stupid again. He might also have some more information that could help the investigation. How are you, Logan? I got your message, but I would have come anyway. You see, I got this letter and it's full of threats. It seems to be from the killer. It says, Another suffering soul set free. Be at Chinatown today at noon, or your loved ones will be sure to follow. Everyone got that letter. You, me, Charlotte, Archie, Matilda. They found identical ones at Jonathan's house, at Leonard's, and at the residence of Dr. Benjamin Ross. Even Jaden got one. What the hell is going on? Don't we still have six days left? I have a lot of questions myself. But right now, those letters are the one good lead we have to the killer. We still haven't found Dr. Ross. It's as if he vanished from the face of the Earth. Looks like we're going to Chinatown. You know, Logan, this Lonely Hearts killer has escaped Lady Justice and her soul just about long enough. All I ask is that Justice gets him before Olivia. We still have time, Owen. Don't give up hope yet. As for the blindfolded lady here, it occurs to me she's been slacking off lately. All right, time to head out. This time around, the crime scene is a Chinese garden. I'll be waiting for you there. It still looks like a trap to me. 
Do you think we'll find any clues there? We have no choice. The only way is to go on. Detective Logan is waiting for you at the crime scene. No one seems to know the victim. The locals must be scared too, because they're all gone. I'm worried. This is not our killer's M.O. Something must have scared him enough to make this murder different. Someone must have seen something. Or at least heard something. If there is someone, we'll find them. Detective Logan! I haven't found anyone. There's not a single soul around except for the hotel clerk. That doesn't surprise me. Jaden, stand guard here while I interview the people at the hotel. Yes, sir. Owen, we need to question everyone at the hotel. Charlotte, Matilda, or Archie might remember something. We can't do anything else here. The victim was a calligrapher, that's all we know about. Who knows? Maybe this means something. See you at the hotel. Hmm. A calligrapher.
That poor man. We don't even know who he was. Detective, I know it's your job to ask the same thing over and over again, but quite frankly, our patience is running thin with all your questioning. Am I right, Charlotte? Hmm? Oh, yes, sure. What is it? I don't think you heard a single word I said. You've been so absent-minded lately. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Detective Logan, I, I have nothing more to add. You're right about one thing. It is my job. I'm afraid this investigation takes precedence over anything else, however tired or offended you might feel. What a waste of time. Archie didn't say anything new. Well, at least he was polite about it. All right. I'll be waiting for you outside. We need to go back to the crime scene. Welcome to our hotel. Don't worry, sir. The latest unpleasant events notwithstanding, our hotel is always open for guests. At the moment, we are running into some snags getting the rooms ready, but that should be taken care of in an instant. You know, Owen, that story I told you about that couple who couldn't be together? It keeps haunting me. I see these vague images, pieces of memories. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what's gotten into me. I, I was thinking out loud. Archie Thompson had already moved into his room and invited us for drinks. But of course you understand that ladies don't go visiting a man in his room.
Oh, it's you, Owen. Those letters, they got everyone rattled up. I should be at home writing. Instead, I'm holed up in here waiting for I don't know what to happen. I can't write anything in this place. Archie, why did you come? You don't have any family. There's nothing for you to worry about. Depends on who you call family. No, I don't have any relatives. But I do have close friends, and I don't want to lose them. Well, I understand that. This latest victim, he was a calligrapher, as I understand. How tragic that people of the writing arts should have to leave this world. Sorry, that might have sounded a bit cynical. So, Owen, did you get a room here already? I didn't. I don't have time to sit around waiting. You must be worried sick, and I understand that. But I think some rest would do you good. When the mind is tired, the world moves too fast to keep up. And you need all your wits about you if you're to find Olivia. Thank you, Archie. I'll keep that in mind. I hope Detective Logan finds enough leads at the crime scene to get to Olivia. I pray she turns up fine. Owen, I think... You should go to the old sewer canals! That is where you'll find your answers! There goes Ross again. This might be a trap. We have to check it out anyway. You'll find your answers by the old fisherman's house. Hurry up, or you're going to be too late. I am so tired of this.
Great work. I'll go first. I'll be waiting for you down there. Hurry up. Logan, when I was going to Chinatown, Ross was shouting from somewhere again. This time he said we'd find our answers by the old fisherman's house. The other time he was saying something about the sewers. What do you think he's trying to do? Interesting. I can't be sure, but I think those two places might be connected. These sewers should take us to the fisherman's place. Who knows? We have to check up on this anyway. Another locked door. We have to open it. I can see a fisherman's house from here. We're almost there. We need to find a way out!
Let's go. Hurry up. Hmm. There's the fisherman's house, all right. Doesn't look like much. Let's go in. Oh, no. I think that came from the hotel. That's where everyone is. Good heavens! this happen? I... I don't know. Something exploded inside the hotel. Oh, Lord! I heard Archie Thompson screaming. I heard him burn alive in that room. And Charlotte? What happened to her? To, 
Charlotte is fine. You see, just before the explosion, Dr. Ross came up to her. They talked for a while and then left the hotel together. I was watching from afar, of course. It, it made me curious, so I followed them at a distance. But as soon as I stepped outside, there was that dreadful blast. Oh, the humanity! I'm such an idiot. Jaden, stay here with Matilda. I'll take care of everything. I'm sorry, Owen. I have to leave you for now. <laughs> 